Hello everyone and welcome to the video, the first video of the World of Wonders meta and we're already in Spring Cup. Right now Spring Cup can be found in the Great League and you can use Pokemon that are water, grass, or fairy type. And also Toxapex and Mantine are just completely banned from this at the moment anyway. Uh, this is also the first driver or car for this series and I I come up with this team completely on my own. No one came up with this team first, especially not the current winner of this Utrecht special event. Uh, of course, no, I stole this team from Inadequance, one of the best battlers in the world. And yeah, I actually did pretty well with this team myself. I had a 17 game run, so won 17 games, lost eight of them, and I will show you some of these matches as we get into it. A couple things to note about this team at the beginning. Um, I toyed around with Polyrath running a couple different movesets. I landed on Power Up Punch and Icy Wind. I do think Icy Wind is completely needed. Power Up Punch is a nice extra... Give, Power Up Punch gives you a nice extra little boost. Uh, and then also on Ferrothorn, which... Guys, listen, I don't like to call it like that either, but that's how it's pronounced. Um, I also started out with Mearshot, uh, came in clutch for a couple matches, just being able to pace a little bit quicker. Ultimately, I ended up switching to Flash Cannon just for a harder hitting attack. So it's up to you, I think, the way that you would want to play this out. Let's jump into it. So yes, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, we have the team with the Polyrath with Counter, Scald. It's what I first started with. Again, I ended with Power Up Punch, Icy Wind, uh, Ferrothorn with Bullet Seed, Power Whip, and Flash Cannon, and then Trevenant with Shadow Claw, Seed Bomb, and Shadow Ball. Trevenant I usually used as the safe swap unless it was something like an Obama Snow and I'm trying to catch an Energy Ball. Uh, I think I do show that in one of the matches. Let's jump into the first one. The first game we have is against a Ferrothorn at the beginning here, and I know that it paces right before I get to an Icy Wind, so I'm going to go ahead and catch it. Beautiful. Catch it on that Trevenant here. Power Whip's not doing that much damage. And in comes a Pelipper. Pelipper is pretty dangerous against this whole team here. They do make, I don't know if they call this a mistake, but they go for a Weather Ball. It doesn't take me out, and I'm able to get to the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball does take them out, so I keep the switch advantage. And I have a lot of health on my Polyrath still. So they do get two Bullet Seeds, so I'm going ahead and counting. I know that I win Charge Attack Priority. I see an extra one go through anyway, so they are at their attack as well, forcing me to shield. But at this point, I think I'm in a good position no matter what's in the back, because I'm going to be able to Icy Wind it and then dip if I want. Actually, Tentacruel in the back is amazing because none of its attacks really do much at all to the Ferrothorn. So I'm going to go ahead and tank this. I know at first it's going to be an Acid Spray to kind of like lower my defenses, but even still, uh, it's not going to be doing that much. I do shield this up because I have a shield and I might as well. That's where I want to use it. But now I have so much energy on the Ferrothorn. I'm at two power whips. They shield up the first. That's okay. In comes the second one. And as you can see, uh, that tentacle is just getting lower and lower. Uh, they do stay in it. They're still going ahead and doing. You can see how much that Scald does. But again, already at another power whip. Don't even bother charging it. Uh, and then, yes, it goes and takes it out. Game number two, this is the Obama Snow that I was talking about. It's seven to an energy ball, so I am counting because they pace at the same amount. And I'm switching to the Ferrothorn because if they decided to bait with a Weather Ball or an Icy Wind, it would do super effective damage to the Trevenant. So in comes the Galarian Weezing, and uh, I think they maybe expected me to have a Mearshot, maybe a Thunder, because they don't shield this up here and uh, completely knocks them out. And then at that point, they just kind of concede the match. That one was a very short one. Um, I don't know how much relevance you guys will get out of it. I do find it rather funny. And also just, I wanted to showcase the Obama Snow uh, lead, how I like to play it out. Obviously, sometimes they don't throw right away, also expecting it. But even still, a Weather Ball or an Icy Wind on the, to the Ferrothorn doesn't really matter that much. Next matchup, we have a horrible lead with the Lantern, so I immediately swap into the Trevenant. They were a little bit late on the swap, but I know that I win charge attack priority as well against the Wall Rain, so I'm going ahead and just matching shields with them at this point as well. So they shielded up the first, so I'm also going to shield the first, and then I'm going to count, and I'm going to go and throw right before they get to their next uh, Icicle Spear as well. They go ahead and shield this both up, and I said at this point, that's okay. I'm going to go let it go down because they're not going to be able to get to an Earthquake before I get to completely counter them down. I know this is just an Icicle Spear, so okay, fine. We'll go ahead and take it. And then now Polyrath has a lot of energy and there's no shields left on their side. 
debuffing because that's what Polyrath does, coming in with the Ferrothorn and met by their own Trevenant. Uh, this isn't great because the Shadow Balls and the Shadow Claws are definitely going to add up on the Ferrothorn, but I do have an extra shield. So I'm going to shield up the Shadow Ball and I'm just going to go a little bit over here, going for the Flash Cannon. You can see it does quite a bit, enough now that the Power Whip will be able to take it out. So even though uh, he could have possibly got to another attack, it wouldn't have knocked me out at that point. And now I have a ton of health and energy to deal with the Lantern in the back. You can see that they're going for the Thunderbolt. It's the heavier hitting attack, still just barely into the red. And this Power Whip is going to be able to knock them out and taking that next game. Let's hop into a losing matchup here. Uh, Rosary just completely core breaks his team because its charge attacks is Grass Knot and Weather Ball Fire. Uh, so neither one of the backline wants to take the fire type attacks, but my Polyrath can't really handle the uh, Grass Knot either. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to lower as much as possible. I was thinking maybe I wanted to catch. I couldn't, they baited me there too. So they have a little bit of extra energy and they've double shielded now. I do try to catch again, but they're very patient. They bullet seed, they come in with a very, very hard counter here for the Trevenant, and that is the Dugong. I am gonna be able to get a seed bomb off. It does a nice chunk of damage, but it's just not gonna be enough. As you can see, they can take me out with this Icy Wind. Even though I come back in with Polyrath, even though I'm probably going to be able to completely counter down, it's not going to be enough. They do Icy Wind me here. I have all this energy. I'm debuffed, and in comes a horrible Pokemon, Shadow Victory Bell. So I don't think it would have been able to knock out even if it was full health, but it just wasn't enough. There's, meanwhile, so much energy on the Roserade. And this is where maybe having Mearshot still could have been advantageous if I would have been able to get to that to knock it out. Maybe there would have been a chance, but Flash Cannon took a little bit longer to pace to. I didn't even reach the Power Whip in time and they were able to take me out with two Weather Balls. So if you have a better way to play out those matchups and you're playing a similar team, let me know in the comments. Maybe I should have just completely sacked the Polyrath by that point. Just let them expend all the energy onto it. Come in with Trevenant and farm down. It's also an option. It was double debuff, so the fire type attack wouldn't have been able to take me out. Maybe that was the play. The next game we have against a superior. Obviously not a great lead for me here. I am gonna stay in for a little bit and then I'm, I mean, I'm gonna catch. We're a little bit lower ranking at this point. I do think that is sometimes, uh, maybe it was a predictable play and other people might have been able to uh, counteract that from happening. But regardless, caught an aerial ace onto the Ferrothorn. Perfect for me, getting a lot of energy here. They block up the Power Whip and they're gonna be able to get to another Icicle Spear. I wasn't sure if it would be able to take me out at this range, but it does. Uh, but for me, this is still fine. I'm coming back in. I'm just gonna get a lot of energy here. And this is where I wish I had Power Up Punch instead of Scald because it's gonna take a while to get to. I'm forced to throw this Icy Wind just to lower the attack a little bit, uh, but also just cause I didn't wanna go 100 energy and completely waste it. In comes the Lantern and I immediately swap to the Trevenant. But this is great for me actually, because I have a shield advantage here. They, I know that they wasted their energy. But I again, know that these are gonna be aerial aces. These are the more effective moves I'm gonna need to throw here. So gonna head throw the shadow ball, getting that last shield off of them. And now I know that I'm in a good position, even though this is another aerial ace, I can just farm up a little bit of extra energy, go over and throw right before they get to another aerial ace to knock it out. I throw the shadow ball just to be safe. I wasn't sure if a seed bomb would be enough. And now in comes the lantern. I know Seed Bomb would be doing nice damage to that. They know it as well. They go ahead and concede the matchup. And lastly, we have the last game that I want to show you guys. And this is with a Trevenant lead. I immediately swap into the Ferrothorn. And this is again when I had Mearshot over Flash Cannon. So I am going to be able to pace a little bit quicker. I'm also trying to go for a debuff. Um, I don't I don't ever get a debuff, by the way, whenever I've played this with the Mearshot. Uh, forcing myself to th shield up the Shadow Ball. But what I do like about the Mearshot is it paces a lot quicker than the Flash Cannon. So I can at least stall out the timer a little bit more. My opponent does a nice thing where they catch the mirror shot onto the dugong, but to me that's okay because I mean, I think I still have enough energy that I'm gonna be able to get to another attack, force them to throw some energy. You can see the icy wind doesn't take me out and the switch timers are misaligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in with that polyrath. They do drill run me here, but they don't lower my attack. So this is fine. Just gonna go ahead and keep on punching, able to completely counter down 
And now I have a lot of energy for whatever comes in. Gonna be that Trevenant. It's gonna get an icy wind to the face, forcing that shield. And I'm gonna be able to maybe reach another? No, not gonna be able to reach another. Decided it's worth it, however, because I'm already at the icy wind. We'll, we'll be able to knock out the Trevenant and show me what you got in the back. It is an Empoleon. Perfect. These counters are doing so much damage. Able to get to yet another Icy Wind to lower the attack. Even though they completely steel wing me down, I know that this Drill Peck is not going to be able to knock me out. It would have been able to knock me out even if it was full health. But at this point, I know that I have the little Ferrothorn in the back able to completely Shadow Claw down. And again, this team that I thought of, me, not the special event champion of Utre, did so well. No, once again, this is Inadequence's team. It is Shadow Polyrath, Ferrothorn with the Trevenant in the back. It is a team that again went 17 and 8 for a day. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I will say I did try it again the next day as well. Uh, a lot of people are changing up their leads a little bit. To Colin Six had a really amazing run in Spring Cup and he just released the team. So a lot of people are playing either that team or a counter to it. Seeing a lot of Pelippers and Lanterns in the lead, but that can also switch out in a day or two's time. Let me know if you try it, let me know how you do, and we'll see you in the next video.